Welcome to the AAAE studio. I'm Melissa Sabatine. Today we bring you a special report to discuss a very serious and disturbing topic that the industry is addressing. The use of aviation for the purposes of human trafficking. Studies show that there are up to 40.3 million victims of human trafficking for purposes of forced prostitution, labor, and other forms of exploitation every year. Human trafficking is estimated to be a $150 billion annual business. Joining me in our studio today to discuss this topic is Nancy Rivard, President of Airline Ambassadors International. Employed with American Airlines since 1976, Nancy left the management track at American, convinced that travel could play a larger role in bringing about global understanding and sharing. She founded Airline Ambassadors International, also known as AAI, to provide humanitarian assistance to vulnerable children. The organization began as flight attendants, like herself, using flight privileges to help children. Today, the efforts have grown to include members of all backgrounds traveling to make a difference. AAI is the only nonprofit leveraging connections with the airline industry to facilitate humanitarian efforts and is recognized by the U.S. Congress and the United Nations. Also joining us today is Ashley Woods. Ashley is presently serving as Director of Programs and Events with the Washington, D.C.-based non-governmental organization Artworks for Freedom. Artworks for Freedom uses the power of art to raise awareness about modern-day slavery and human trafficking. Ashley was born in the United Kingdom, but grew up in Far East Asia. He has worked on numerous projects with different Nobel Peace Laureates and organizations for over a decade. He is responsible for a major exhibit on Martin Luther King Jr. entitled A Right to Freedom that is on show until September 2019 at the Nobel Museum in Stockholm. With Artworks for Freedom and a partnership with AAI, Ashley is creating a new nationwide campaign entitled Airports to Freedom. And that campaign empowers, aims to empower airports and their employees to make a real and lasting contribution to ending human trafficking once and for all. Welcome to you both. Thank, Thank you, you. Thank you for joining me today. Nancy, I'm going to start with you. Great. Um, tell us a little bit about AAI and how you have been leveraging partnerships and your mission to end human trafficking. Right. Well, it began, we began as an organization um, focused on helping vulnerable children. We had two programs. We escorted children for medical aid that has donated um, medical services in the United States. And then we also hand-delivered aid to orphanages around the world. Every month we saw vulnerable children. Every month we had a humanitarian mission. But we didn't know anything about human trafficking until 2009 on a mission in Cambodia when we saved a little girl who had been abandoned by her mother and she had let, had, was drawing clothes on her own body with a red marking pen. Uh, we ended up saving her and on that trip, we learned about the dark reality of human trafficking. So I, as the president of Airline Ambassador, said, we've got to get involved in this. On our very next mission, the following month in the Dominican Republic, we talked about it with our team of about 15 of us. Mm -hmm. We promised each other to be aware on flights out, and amazingly, on four different airlines, we correctly identified trafficking. Our very first tip led to the bust of a pornography ring in Boston, saving 86 children. Wow, wow, that's amazing. So in the airport environment, you know, if someone thinks they might see um, an incident of human trafficking, could you kind of name some of the common traits that the people should look for? Yes, well, travel industry professionals have been slated as one of the best places to uh, people to identify trafficking. And we teach our airport personnel from all backgrounds, flight attendants, pilots, agents, anybody that works at the airport, even travelers, mm -hmm. to notice children and who they're traveling with. Young women traveling alone. Are they under control of someone else? Do they, um, do they uh, are they wearing inappropriate clothing? Are they frightened, ashamed, or nervous? Mm -hmm. We have found um, over a thousand uh, reports have been made just in the last two years as a result of teaching airport frontline employees to recognize these symptoms. Do you have any examples of something that happened in an airport that might illustrate um, the... Well, uh, yes. Uh, one of our, our trainers 
uh, Donna Hubbard is actually a victim of human trafficking herself. Wow. And she not only saved a girl's life, she was on an airplane and this girl appeared to be under control of someone else. And um, it turns out that there was an old boyfriend who was stalking her. It wasn't a trafficking situation. But the law enforcement met the flight and said, you saved her life. And then secondly, recently she also noticed a man and a woman who were traveling with a child, 12-year-old child, very, very sick. Both the man and the woman had different names for the child, different ages. She was sure that they were not his parents, and they didn't seem concerned at all at his illness. We learned later the boy was saved, and we uh, think that the people were transporting drugs inside this child. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Well, IIIE, we're very excited to be working with you on yes. some training and awareness for the airport community. Now, tell us what you think the airport community needs and, and what's needed right now in the area of training and awareness. Well, we took it upon ourselves to start providing training when we saw the airlines weren't going to uh, lead. And we're thrilled to be partnering with AAAE and with Artworks for Freedom and the Airports to Freedom campaign on raising awareness because that awareness is so needed. One flight attendant, one travel professional sees 500 people a week, 24,000 a year. Mm -hmm. So training of one person, when we provide one training, can uh, scan over a million uh, 24 million passengers. Huge impact, huge yeah. impact. Now, Ashley, you are expanding um, this wonderful campaign. Now, tell us how airports are going to play into the next phase of your work. I feel very, very excited to be, you know, amongst, uh, with both of you, but I said with, with Nancy, who's extremely experienced. I'm relatively new to this subject matter. Um, as you said earlier, I've just come from the Nobel Museum, where I've uh, put together an exhibit on Dr. King called The Right to Freedom. Um, so, you know, working, starting working with Artworks of Freedom on this is, is, is a wonderful opportunity and a, and a great challenge. Uh, Artworks of Freedom itself, you know, represents and works with many different artists, different disciplines, whether it be photography, film, theater, or even dance, mm -hmm. uh, with the one objective of bringing, you know, public awareness to human trafficking and inspiring creative action to bring an end to this terrible problem. Um, so the, the new campaign we're setting up is, is an ambitious campaign. Uh, I've, from what I hear, from what Nancy tells me, it hasn't never been done before. Right. Um, we were talking recently to uh, the Ad Council about this, and they'd been approached many times by different organizations, individual organizations, um, but never really you know, this kind of coalition that, that we see coming together now. Mm -hmm. uh, Nancy and myself uh, had the opportunity yesterday of uh, participating and uh, at a, at a uh, Rotary Summit uh, on human trafficking. And, uh, you know, the, the, the responses and the people, that, you know, government officials, businesses, airline officials, executives, NGOs, and survivors coming together for the first time was just spectacular. Um, you know, they say that, you know, a number of years ago when we, we first started talking about human trafficking, um, you know, we'd hoped that people would, would you know, first of all, be able to understand and see the, the uh, human trafficking taking place, understand how it happens, but also be able to participate. Mm -hmm. And I think that time is now. You know, the businesses and the aviation industry have to really, from what was said yesterday, this is the time to step up, step up and start doing something about, the, uh, about human trafficking. Absolutely. You know, using creative solutions to do that. Mm -hmm. How do you, you find the artist um, who, who to participate? Um, it sounds like you're getting a lot of momentum and they might be coming to you, but um, talk a little bit about that. Well, what is remarkable about uh, the Airports to Freedom campaign is that we will be uh, using state-of-the-art uh, touchscreen technology uh, in the airports. We'll be bringing that, that in ourselves. We will not be asking the airlines or the, the airports themselves to, to provide any of the materials, hardware or software. So we'll be developing that uh, with uh, professionals uh, from the industry. Um, and this will give, for the first time, really giving the opportunity to survivors to tell their own story. Um, so if you can imagine, um, I don't know whether any of your viewers have ever visited the, the Center for Civil, Civil and Human Rights in Atlanta, mm -hmm. but it is a remarkable place. And one of the things in their human rights exhibit there, um, you have this opportunity of a, a coming approaching a, 
in what you looks to be a mirror, but it's a screen. And the screen switches on as you approach it. And somebody will come up to you face to face and tell their own story from around the world, what has happened to them, and what you can do about it to change that situation. And that's exactly what we're going to be doing. We're going to be using that technology, filming survivors, getting the survivors to tell their own story. Um, and these will be personal stories. But they're not going to be stories of, you know, of, of disempowerment. These are, these are stories that will be captivating and empowering the, the viewer to take action. So as soon as that, uh, as soon as these will be sort of one minute videos, right? And then once those videos come off at the end of that uh, story, you'll be, the viewer will be then provided with a toolbox. And you'll be asked to make a, you know, choose one of those tools in that toolbox to then use it and make a positive change, uh, uh, hopefully to ending human trafficking once and for all. Wow. Yeah. Wow, that's incredible. Mm. Now, there's airport watching. I'm sure there are going to be many who see this and are going to want to get involved. I, hope I mean, so. how do they I do hope that? So. I hope so. <laughs> well, we hope to, uh, we're going to be doing a test study. Obviously, mm. we're not launching into this uh, without doing that. And it's very important to, to learn from the, the initial test study at an international airport. Uh, we're in, presently, we're in talks with Atlanta International Airport. Uh, and one of the reasons for that is uh, Atlanta is the busiest airport in the world today. Um, and, and so I've already been to see them. They're very interested in us working together. Um, once that happens, so we're hoping that'll happen in December or even January 2020, uh, if all goes well, we will then offer that, uh, that installation, professional installation, out to other airports around the USA. And thanks to Nancy, you know, we've already had extreme, extremely good uh, interest, strong interest from, you know, Denver, uh, Las Vegas uh, and, and another number of other airports as well. So the buzz is getting out. Uh, Rotary heard about it. Uh, they invited us to yesterday's summit. We're again, we're invited to next year's International Peace Summit in uh, Rotary Peace Summit in uh, California to, to present that. And hopefully by that time, we will have already had the, you know, the uh, learned from the initial test study, uh, hopefully that's happening in Atlanta. That sounds great. And what's exciting about me about the Airports to Freedom campaign mm. is that not only are you training the industry professionals, but millions of passengers that are walking through Absolutely. the airports every day. It's Absolutely. public awareness. Yeah. And it gives a way for people that are traveling to get involved and potentially even help local safe houses. We would create a team that would, would support local projects, that would support training and local projects. Well, I'm Absolutely. glad you brought that up because what if there are individuals watching who want to volunteer in some way, whether they're one of our members who work at the airports or some of our corporate members right. in the industry, or like I know my sister was asking me, what can I do? You know, what, where should they start? You know, go to your website and... Why, like Ashley said, we give them a toolbox through this interactive video. It looks like a real survivor is coming out to talk to you personally. Mm -hmm. And she says, you can do this, this, or this. You can donate, you can volunteer, mm -hmm. you can call this number if you see anything suspicious. Mm -hmm. So many different mm -hmm. ways to be But don't just be an involved. observer. Right. You exactly. know, get involved. And that's the main, it's a call to action. That's the message. It really is. I mean, I know that up until now, you know, the, the main message from airports has been, you know, if you see something, say something. Mm -hmm. Uh, but now if you, you know, it'll, it'll be you can do something. Now, you, now you've heard the story, now do something about it yourself, <laughs> right? Get involved yourself. So anybody watching, you know, airports, uh, individuals watching, you know, please do reach out to yourself and then you can, you can pass uh, them on our, our contact details and we'd love to, to talk to whoever uh, about, the, about the project. Wonderful. Well, thank you both for all of the work that you're doing. You know, I've known thank this you. lady for a while. It's great to meet you, Ashley. Right, but well. you both, your efforts are just incredible, and uh, we're happy to support you. And thank you for being with us today. Thank you so Welcome. much. Thank you so much. Thanks for helping us get the word out to airports, too. Absolutely. Absolutely. Well, thank you for watching today. Please follow the links down below to see how you can get involved in this effort.